The Norfolk School Board heard public input tonight on the future of Maury High School. For months, school leaders have tried to decide if a renovation or demolition is best for the school and its students. Sarah Hammond tells us why community members are split. Time has taken a toll on Maury High School since 1910, but it holds special memories for many. I think walking up the steps to enter the front door of that old high school gives them more of a pride, a Commodore pride. Norfolk Public School says with water damage on windows and doors and a need for more structural support, it's time for an upgrade. To address that, HBA Architecture came up with four different plans. Two would involve renovating the school, the other two would create an entirely new building. HBA recommended a plan known as B2. That option would mean tearing down the old building and creating a new four-story building along with a new stadium. But Wednesday night, most speakers felt different. Mori isn't just a building. It is a piece of history within our community that sadly has not been maintained. Now, board documents show more than 70% of roughly 900 people surveyed in the last month agree with the option to tear down the existing school. But that is a result that upset many in the room and online. We will continue our efforts to advocate for an option that provides against current and future students the learning environment they deserve and protects the historic Mori High School. However, Skip Stiles has two kids currently at Mori. He says he's tired of getting the phone calls that the heat is out or the internet isn't working. So when I asked my kids what to do, they said bladed. Get rid of it. Uh, let's build something new. A member of Virginia Preservation said the number one priority for everyone is giving students the very best. But I also think we can accomplish this goal by restoring and preserving the iconic building to serve future generations. Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. The board did not make a final decision tonight, but if they decide to go with the demolition option, new building construction would take two years. Only then would the original building be torn down.